Good morning, finally a sunny day and the shorts are out. Today I'm heading to the Devon Derby. No, not Buckling v Newton Abbott Spurs. It's Exeter City versus Plymouth Argyle. This is the 93rd meeting between the two clubs with Exeter winning 29, there being 26 draws and Plymouth coming out on top winning 37. So Plymouth Argyle are heading towards the championship. Well, maybe, depends how the rest of the season go, but they're them, Sheffield Wednesday and Ipswich are definitely up there and in for that promotion spot, or two spots that are available. Exeter City, on the other hand, their first season back in League One, very firmly at mid-table, so they have nothing to play for other than today their desire and passion to really put Plymouth Argyle promotion hopes in jeopardy. And I think they could do it. And I'm going to go for an extra City 2-1 win. Now, Plymouth have just come off the back, obviously, of losing in the cup final. Or thrashing, got thrashed 4-0 by Bolton in their big day out. And also, I think they just lost in that last game. I think they lost to Lincoln. So they really, really do need a win. So both teams are going to go all out. But like I said, I just think Exeter, I have that funny feeling they're going to clinch it today at home at the better St. James in Park because the other one is a shithole. So I'm glad I'm heading here today and not over there. I'll see you very soon in Exeter. <laughs>
full time, Exeter City nil, Plymouth Argyle one. Um, Exeter really missed their chances in that first 20 minutes of the game. I reckon it could have been 2 0 up. They just seemed a bit afraid to take a shot. Um, it reminded me a bit of our um, League One days of just really holding back and being extra cautious. Which you can understand being a derby, neither team wants to lose that for different reasons, but both obviously also for the hatred of each other. Um, Plymouth obviously really needed that. You know, to, to go top of the league and they're back top of the league again, looking like you know, going for that um, spot to the championship where you know we might be back there next year, which would be fantastic. So I'll be back at Plymouth again. Um, but yeah, I, I think Exeter weren't that great. Plymouth, you know, we got a bit lucky there really for the goal. It looked like a nil-nil written all over it, which I was looking at the clock thinking, ah, oh, it got nil-nil. It could be, I might not even even upload the vlog in the end, but good atmosphere from uh, both sides of the cells um, so I'm a neutral but I'd say I'm a little bit more in favour of Exeter so a bit gutting for them to not get uh, the win there in the Derby Den especially at home but yeah good atmosphere and um, yeah well done for Plymouth for, for winning that game but I'm now on the way I will make about 20 to 3 and very impromptu I thought I, I'll make it for the three o'clock game, so I'm going to go and watch Buckland play. I, don't even, I haven't looked at who they've got, but I, I think it might be Millbrook. I could be wrong there. Uh, but Buckland got their final home game of the season. Won't be doing a, a vlog for that one. There's where this one will end. But it'd be nice to go and watch Buckland play. Nice weather, shorts weather, and yeah, I'll see you very soon. Hopefully for Sunderland versus Watford. Yeah, two games in one day. Fantastic.